Hey guys, what's up? I'm with TV. So today we're checking out one of your recommendations, guys. Today we're checking out where I go to hell because I'm a Catholic by Dr. Zaki Nike. Guys, I really like the way he actually talks though. Like, I feel he pulls his point with scriptures and he tries to be as polite as possible. I feel that's the way you can get to someone's heart. If you are being polite and showing them facts, like, I actually enjoy most of his videos, guys, because like, I feel he, he does it in a very polite manner. Like, he tries to tell you things about yourself in a polite manner, and it's actually very, very nice. And for those of you who actually do that in my conversation, I'm just saying thank you, guys. Like, it means a lot when you're trying to correct me in a polite manner. Guys, today, this video is actually sponsored by New Chick, guys, and made this video possible like i'm wearing the outfit right now and i can tell you like i feel seen as believing so go right in the description below you check their website link guys visit the store and i did find it actually black friday guys so you're gonna get a lot of patient oh so i think you should just go there right now and shop a lot guys let's get straight into this finally um my name's tanya i work for cisco uh, I'm not here to disagree with anything, but I've always had a lot of people, especially Muslims, well, not a lot of people, just Muslims, always telling me, because you're a Catholic, you're going to go to Jahannam, but we're Muslims, you need to convert and you will go to heaven. According to me, I'm a good Catholic. I try to be a good Catholic. I don't intentionally commit sin. But does that mean because I'm a Catholic, I'm going to go to hell? And if I'm a Muslim, I'm going to go to heaven? Sister asked a question that many of her Muslim friends say because she's a Catholic, because she's a Christian, she will go to hell. That is it true that because she's a Christian, you will go to hell? Sister, according to me, if you're a true Christian, if you truly follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, inshallah you shall go to Jannah. But, but if you truly follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, Seek ye the truth, and the truth shall free you. Correct? Now, what you are following, I don't know. Are you following your church or are you following Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? If you are following your church, the chances of going to Jannam is very high. If you are following Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, inshallah, inshallah, you shall go to Jannah. Now, if you read the Bible, there are sayings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. I don't know how much you are well versed with the Bible. Now, all the sayings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, are in red letter. Are in red, red letter. Yeah. Sister, do you believe Jesus to be God? Well, I'm a bit confused about that, so I'm not going to get into that. No, I'm I, asking yes or no. Well... Confused God. No, it's, it's not confusion, but I don't want to answer something I don't know. And it's not funny. I'm not saying it's you know or not. Sister, I'm not saying you know or not. What do you believe I'm asking? No, I do believe he's God. Yes, yes that's do. it. I'm not saying yes. what you know. You may not I be do. able to prove it. Yeah, Fine. I do. Sister, I'll tell you one thing. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe that he was born miraculously without any main intervention. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. Yeah. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those Born blind lepers with God's permission. The Christians and the Muslims they are going together. Yeah. But one may ask, where is the parting of ways? The parting of ways is, sister, that most of the Christians, almost all, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is Almighty God. They believe he claimed divinity. In fact, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement. There is not a single unambiguous statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says, worship me. Sister, if you can point out a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement, anywhere from the Bible, in which Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says, worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity today. In fact, if you read the Bible... I'm not talking about you accepting I'll come to it. or not. I'm I, not. I got my answer already. I'm giving you... Yes. I'm, I got my answer. You got half the answer. I'm giving the complete answer, okay. Insha. You can go ahead. You got half the answer. Okay. I told you that if you're a true Christian, you should go to Jannah. Yes. You don't know what a true Christian is. I'm giving you... Guys, like when I said I love 
that night. Like I was being honest. Like you see the way he's trying to tell you. He's trying to prove his point, giving you like reference. Like I feel this is a way you can educate someone. But I feel like you know when you listen to someone that is good, like he knows what he's talking about, and I feel he's trying to put it there in your face so you can understand. Me as a Christian, like I feel okay. I'm not saying I feel okay. When I say I feel, I'm trying to say based on my personal opinion. Not maybe that's not what everyone will believe in, but this is what I believe in. So I know that <laughs> I'm not gonna use what I feel. Like, okay. When we talk about the Trinity, there was a video you actually dared me to check out, and I think I released it with a Muslim friend recently. You can actually check that in my channel. So, guys, when we watch that, um, the I don't really know his name, but I'll call him the Islam guy, like the Muslim guy. And he says something that if Christians can actually come to like calm down a little bit and I don't know if he used the word calm down, but like something like that, you get me? Like he was like, if Christians can actually believe, like not believe, that's not the word. Like if Christians can actually accept that Jesus isn't God and accept there's only one true God, but he was like, he, he knows, okay, based on the Christian faith, him, Jesus coming to die for us is actually acceptable. Jesus being the son of God is kind of a city. Were you saying Jesus is God? Because when I was really, really little, this is actually something I hope personal. When I was little, I had this question in me. Like, I was like, if Jesus is God, then someone's supposed to be bigger than the other. But me coming in, letting, I figure out that maybe they just coexist together based on I feel God created us in his own spirit and likeness or oh, his own likeness so we as humans we have body soul and spirit you get me so like I feel that was the ultra that was the I can't call it phrase that is the phrase that actually make me like kind of understand Trinity a little bit like Jesus is God, Jesus, and Holy Spirit. We humans have body, spirit, and soul. So that got me thinking, but I really love the way he's actually talking to her. Like, I feel you being a Christian, I don't feel it, like if we can take the religion out, you believing in God, we actually take you to heaven. But we Christians believe that you can only go to heaven. When you believe Jesus come and die for your sin, because you need to pay for your sin, and I feel this is something the way Muslims do it is actually very very beautiful. We Christians believe in that also. Like I don't, I, I don't think I'll use the word believe in. Like the more you bless someone, or I don't know how you guys say it. Like the best, like if you bless someone, like. You pay for your sin by helping or with blessing people with money like this, help, like generosity. But we Christians, we believe that, okay, I come from a Christian background, get me right. So in my family, I try to believe in, I'm talking about me, my family. I, I can't talk of all Christians, guys. We actually believe that you giving out actually attracts God blessings to you. It's like nature's law. God said, act and it shall be given unto you. But God said, help your neighbor, cheat your neighbor as well. Like, so that kind of thing. So we actually believe in this. We visit the orphanage home. We pay 10% of our income. Like those kind of love. Like I can see someone begging in the street and I pass. Like, except I'm not money, but even money, I don't feel my conscience will let me. So like this kind of things, like, I feel giving is one of the greatest of it. You need to show love to people. And I feel better to show love for people, actually giving them, helping them in any way you can. So I feel the Islamic religion is actually right. In some way, I feel there's no religion that won't have something like contradicting it. 
Well, this woman that actually, I think she's member of my channel and I can say she is actually really, really beautiful. In the sense, the way she replied me, the way she enabled me see things, I feel she's very educated and she tries her best to like make me understand. I, I feel that's love. Like she's showing me love on my channel every day, guys. And it's beautiful. Please big shout out to her, guys. And I love the way she tries to make me understand. She's like, yeah, there are some Muslims that, that like, they're not all that good and they believe on things that I she feel like maybe it isn't the Quran, maybe another book, but she enabled me understand things about the religion and I'm still going through that process. I'm still asking people, like, you'd be surprised, but like, I asked some people, like, some Christians that I you know, are you sure? Wait, <coughs> let me go through it. Do you know Christian? Do you know Trinity is not in the Bible? Ah, are you sure? Like, See, that question actually blew a lot. Like, the question is, is one of a kind. Like, if you ask any Christian that question, I can tell you, they'll be amazed. Like, like, are you serious? Like, guys, let's get back into this though. Information about true Christian is. If you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devils with the Spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, I with the finger of God cast out devils. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my Father. Anyone who says, I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God is a Muslim. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, submitted his will to God. He was a Muslim. He never said he was God. It's clearly mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse number 24. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that the words that you hear are not mine, but my Father's who has sent me. Yes. And it's clearly mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. Ye men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. So Jesus Christ is a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. So from the Bible you come to know that Jesus Christ was one of the most beloved messengers of Almighty God. We love him, we respect him. Do we follow his teachings? If you compare what Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Bible, I told that yesterday that we Muslims, we follow more of the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Jesus Christ, according to the Gospel of Luke, he was circumcised on the eighth day. We Muslims are circumcised, most of the Christians are. Jesus Christ, peace be upon no, him, said, you have no, to no, no. Guys, like, okay. I, I don't know about, like, where I'm from. On the eighth day, yes. Eighth or seventh. I think it's eighth day, like, you are circumcised. Like, I don't feel there's any Christian I know that is not circumcised, like, so, like, I don't really, I've, I've had this, like, several times, but, like, it's actually came to me now, but, I don't know of any Christian that is not circumcised, like, we all are, I, we follow the teachings of Abraham, so why are we not going to be circumcised? I really don't know. Guys, let's get back, though. <laughs> Follow each and every law. Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 verse number 17. Everything of the Old Testament. You can't break one law or dot or a title. As I mentioned in my speech, it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse number 8. In the book of Isaiah chapter 65 verse 2 to 5. And the book of Leviticus chapter number 11 verse number 7 to 8. That you should not have pork. We Muslims don't have pork, but most of the Christians have pork. It's mentioned in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse number 18. Book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse number 1. You should not have alcohol. Muslims don't have alcohol, but Christians have alcohol. So if Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, then we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves. So if you become a true Christian and truly follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter shall not come. For if I go, shall I send him? It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the Spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he shall he speak. 
he shall glorify me. Verbatim quotation from the Bible, King James Version. So Jesus Christ is prophesying about the coming of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If you're a true Christian, if you truly believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you have to believe in the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if you're a true Christian, you'll believe in Prophet Muhammad and inshallah you shall go to Jannah. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you. Okay, let's start from when he said the last prophet. Okay, I don't know why sometimes when I'm trying to talk, you guys actually don't understand me. When I'm talking, I'm talking from the Christian perspective. But I feel from people always try to make me feel stupid in a kind of way. They always try to make me feel like, like they know my religion more than me. Like I can tell you, I've I have been a Christian for like for a long time, like a long time since vet still now. So like you can't just tell me things about my religion. Okay, I feel no one knows it all, but you can't just tell a mathematics teacher that oh one plus one is supposed to give you terre or something like that. Theory. Pardon my pronunciation. But like there's a way you're supposed to tell me like I've been a Christian, so don't make it feel like I'm stupid or something, like you're trying to, I know the religion. Okay, him talking about the final prophet when you, that, that the final prophet will bring you the last message, I can't pass the last message. Please, I can't really say it accordingly. Let's scrap that. So guys, so guys, like, we Christians believe he was actually talking about the Holy Spirit. He said, once he go, the prophet is going to say them the Spirit. So immediately, God left. Immediately, Jesus left the earth. The, when Jesus ascended, the disciples went to the upper room. And I don't know if you guys believe in this, but this is what was written. The disciples went to the upper room and they started praying. Then fire came upon their heads. Like this was a visible miracle. Maybe it was written by a historian or one of the apostles. I really don't know, guys. But fire came upon their heads and they were able to convert thousands of people that night. You see, and they were, able, they were speaking in other languages. <laughs> you see. So I, I, I really need to get to this point. When he said something, that's why I was using my phone. Don't mind my phone, guys, not an iPhone, pardon me. So he said something about um, the Muslims believe Jesus was the Messiah. So I googled the meaning of Messiah, and it says a Messiah is a savior or liberator of a group of people. So I think I'm kind of using his word against him. So he said Muslims believe Jesus is the Messiah. So Jesus being the Messiah is. He's actually trying to say he's a Christian though, or he believes in the death of Christ. Because, okay, we Christians believe Jesus came to die for our sin, thereby saving us from, I feel, he's saving us from hell and our evil deeds. That's why grace came in and all. Well, like, I don't know if you believe in this, but him saying Jesus is the liberator or savior, what would, like, if you're Muslim, I feel you should ask yourself, what did Jesus save you from? Like, I'm not trying to say this in any sense of me trying to convert you. I'm just telling you, you're asking, why did he say Jesus is the Messiah? Because I feel there's some truth to my religion and there's some truth to yours. And we want to just find out the real truth. I think that's what we're here for. And I've actually stopped doing music for a long time. I really need to go back. But I think we'll soon be done with this episode. Guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. And then we'll think about the video. Please make sure you check out New Chick. I got that in the Black Friday, guys. So check them out. Like, check them, guys. I'll see you next time, guys. Best.